Hey everyone, a couple more thoughts on Jenny O'Dell's book, How to Do Nothing, Resisting the Attention Economy. I just finished reading the book. The last video I posted was uh, at a time I was still working my way through it. That other video, if you haven't watched it yet, is called Laughing at a Lover's Joke. Now I have finished reading the book and basically the book is a critique of superficiality. It is a critique of superficially thinking of ourselves in terms of our roles, in terms of our jobs, in terms of our functions in society. If we only think of ourselves in terms of those functions and our successful performance, the extent to which we are successfully performing our tasks, fulfilling our social functions, economic functions, if you're only thinking of ourselves in those terms, we are falling into a kind of super superficiality which Jenny O'Dell is criticizing in this book, How to Do Nothing. And to avoid that, to get out of that, to get ourselves untrapped, unfixated, we need to find spaces, relationships that allow us to, at least momentarily, be nothing. Be nothing. In being nothing or being a non-thing, that we find the potential to be lots of things, lots of different things. So that's the opposite of superficiality. Finding the potential in ourselves to be lots of different things, the richness, the richness that is in that recognition. We could do a little bit of a better job talking about the allure, the attraction of the techno-capitalist society and structure, how attractive it is, how promising it is, that the things that it promises if you just fulfill your role, if you do your job well, it is not just that you will be successful and liked and you climb the, the ladder uh, of prestige and economy, you will be respected. It's not just that, but that techno-capitalist promise is also a promise of simplicity. It also gives us a narrative. It gives us a story about our lives. And that story is very, very attractive. It is attractive in its elegance and in simplicity, it is also attractive because it is globally understood, uh, supported by a shared worldwide, a global understanding. And the opposite of that is being connected to the contingent situation of our lives. If I just pay attention to where I am at the moment, the people around me, that's very limited. It is very limited at first. Superficially, it is very limited. But if I pay attention to it, if I pay attention to the world around me, the region around me, and my connection to this region, then I find a different kind of richness that is limited. It is contingent. It has limits, but it is multidimensional. And it is this, it is this region around me, the people immediately around me, that are truly positioned to be in, be, be in relationship with me to regard me, not just in terms of my role, but in terms of this ongoing, you know, keeping track of each other perceptually. Like I'm just this human being. People who look at me and only think about my role, people who look at you and only think about your function, your role in society, they say, what, what do you do? And that's the only thing that matters to them. They are usually not positioned to be in a, in a complicated human relationship with you, complex, multidimensional human relationship. That is really the, the thing that we want. The other thing I would say that this book really helped me think about is the importance of not forgetting the value of our attention. Our attention is really valuable. It is really valuable. Our attention is, and it is amazing that we, we forget and we underestimate how valuable our attention is. We, we underestimate our attention. We undervalue our attention and we forget the kinds of things that only our attention enables. There are certain things, certain appreciations, and certain enjoyments, certain pleasures, understanding, certain thoughts that only attention can, can give us. And this, again, superficial way of dealing with attention that is like, if, if somebody clicks on this link, that's it. That means they are paying attention to it. No, that's a, that's a very, uh, stu almost stupid, it's a very shallow way of understanding attention to measure it with clicks, to measure it with eyeballs landing on a, a page, the number of seconds, 
attention is so much more about a quality of attending, quality of engaging. Jenny O'Dell talks about uh, talk, talks about it, talks about the effect and the role of attention in terms of rendering, using, using the metaphor of rendering, which is a, a term in 3D design softwares. You have the, the raw material, but then the, the, the rendering is necessary to, to give you that final fleshed out 3D image. So attention has, attention has that role, among other things, it has that rendering, rendering effect. Anyways, it's a great book, and I'm curious about this upcoming book. It's coming out in a, in a couple of days, in a few days, by uh, Jenny O'Dell, and we will see how that book is. Um, so far, I really like her work, and I think you should check it out. Uh, you should also check out my book club if you're interested in joining a little community of you know, relaxed people who just take time to discuss consider ideas. Uh, it's very affordable. It's very fun. We have a lovely group at the moment and uh, consider joining it. Anyways, like and subscribe if you like the video and all for now.